understanding obsolete inventory, what it is, implications, and management strategies. What is obsolete inventory? Obsolete inventory is a term used in inventory management to refer to goods that have reached the end of their product life cycle. This could be due to various reasons such as changes in consumer preferences, technological advancements, or simply market saturation. Such inventory has typically not been sold or used for an extended period and is not expected to generate any sales in the future. Companies may categorize obsolete inventory as dead inventory or excess inventory. Key Takeaways Obsolete inventory requires write-downs or write-offs in a company's financial statements, impacting its assets, net income, and overall financial health. Write-downs are recorded to reflect a decline in market value, while write-offs completely remove the inventory from accounts. The prevalence of obsolete inventory can indicate inefficiencies in inventory management. The life cycle of inventory. In terms of the product life cycle, inventory can transition through various stages. 1. Introduction, newly launched products requiring heavy marketing. 2. Growth, increased sales as the product gains market traction. 3. Maturity, sales stabilize, market saturation begins. 4. Decline, sales start to drop, may transition to obsolete inventory. As technology and consumer behavior evolve rapidly, the life cycle of many products has shortened significantly. This has increased the challenge of managing inventory effectively, leading to growing instances of obsolescence. Reasons for Inventory Obsolescence A company may hold on to obsolete inventory for multiple underlying reasons, including Technological changes, rapid tech advancements can render products outdated. For instance, smartphones quickly become obsolete with the release of new models. Shifts in consumer preferences, trends in consumer tastes can shift quickly, resulting in certain products becoming less desirable. Economic changes, economic downturns can drastically affect consumer spending, leading to surplus inventory. Poor forecasting, inaccurate demand forecasting can lead to overproduction, resulting in excessive unsold inventory. Risks associated with obsolete inventory. Companies face several risks when accumulating obsolete inventory. 1. Tied up capital. Resources that could be reinvested into the business are tied up in unsold products. 2. Storage costs. The costs associated with storing outdated inventory can amplify losses. Companies may incur expenses for warehousing, utilities, insurance, and labor. 3. Operational risks. Old and redundant stock can increase the risk of theft, and companies still have to maintain security and insurance for these items. 4. Financial reporting impact. Under GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, companies must account for obsolete inventory as a reduction in assets, affecting profits and financial ratios. Accounting for obsolete inventory. From an accounting perspective, organizations are required to acknowledge obsolete inventory in their financial statements. Key processes include Creation of an inventory reserve account. This account compensates for estimated losses from obsolete inventory. Debiting an expense account. This action recognizes that the value of the inventory has fallen, often resulting in a negative impact on net income. For example, a company that identifies $8,000 of inventory as obsolete, estimating it can still sell for $1,500, must write down the inventory value. The journal entry would reflect this $6,500 reduction in value. Debit, loss on inventory write down $6,500. Credit, allowance for obsolete inventory $6,500. Financial Statement Implications 1. Income Statement The write-down appears as a loss, reducing net income for that financial period. 2. Balance Sheet This adjustment decreases the reported inventory value, affecting total assets and potentially important financial ratios like the current ratio. 3. Statement of Cash Flows Although the write-down does not have a direct cash impact, 
it can influence the calculation of cash flows from operations if inventory is disposed of for a lower price. Management strategies to minimize obsolete inventory. To manage and reduce the risk of obsolete inventory, businesses can adopt several strategies. 1. Robust inventory management. Utilize inventory management systems that allow for real-time inventory tracking, demand forecasting, and trend analysis. 2. Regular audits. Frequent inventory audits help identify slow-moving items early, allowing businesses to take corrective actions before products become obsolete. 3. Clearance sales or promotions. Timely sales and discounts can help move products faster, preventing them from sitting in storage. 4. Supplier relationships. Collaborating closely with suppliers can help improve forecasting accuracy and restocking efficiency. 5. Training and development. Encourage staff training in effective inventory management and understanding market trends to equip them to prevent overstock situations. Conclusion. Obsolete inventory poses significant financial and operational risks to businesses. Managing it effectively involves understanding the factors leading to obsolescence, implementing strategic management practices, and maintaining accurate accounting records. By staying proactive in inventory management, companies can reduce the likelihood of experiencing major losses due to obsolete products, thereby enhancing their overall financial health and operational efficiency.